Welcome back. Uh, we're going to jump straight in and start animating now. Uh, so uh, there's one little thing that we need to uh, take a quick look at, uh, and it's uh, connected to how the audio plays back in Maya. Now, obviously, we've taken a look, and we know that if we scrub through the timeline, we're going to hear that audio like that. But the problem at the moment is that um, depending on the settings you've set for your playback speed, which we did sort of in the last video, uh, you may or may not hear audio if you press the play button. So let's take a quick look at that setting. Um, so I'll just pop my timeline back up here just so you can see the menu. So if I right click um, in the timeline, okay, and we've got the playback speed, if you've set it to play every frame max real time, you won't hear audio play back when you press the play button. If you, however, uh, so we'll just do that for a second. So I'll just set it to, to uh, I'll just set that playback speed to play every frame maximum real time. Okay. Um, so if I play that, we get no audio playing. Okay. But, um, if we now that's going to be a problem obviously we need to be able to play back with the audio to see if the animation works uh, so if we right click and go back down to playback speed and set it to real time okay and then we play that six men came to kill me one time you can see there we actually get the audio playback um, so in this situation you will definitely need to set your playback speed to real time just here okay so uh, let's just drop the timeline back down into position. Now, obviously, you can do that with the timeline where it was. It's just that um, if I have my timeline down there, uh, come on. If I have my timeline down here, when I right click, you can see the menu goes off the bottom of the screen and you can't see what I'm talking about. All right, uh, so let's jump in. So the first thing I want to do is um, kind of shrink my timeline down so that I'm only dealing with maybe a, a second or two worth of audio to begin with. I don't want to try and animate with the entire timeline visible like this. Okay, It's just too um, condensed. So what I want to do is grab my range slider just here and I'll grab the little handle at the end and I'll left click and drag this down until I've got maybe about 50 or so frames. Okay. Um, something along those lines. Now you can go smaller if you want, you know, uh, it really is going to be dependent on the audio that you have. Okay, um, so somewhere probably between a second and two seconds worth of footage would be fine. Okay, so generally speaking when I'm animating, what I would do is start off with the mouth. The mouth is the main thing that we're, we're, we're having to animate. It's a lip sync. Okay, so most of the animation is going to be probably around the mouth, um, especially for a basic character like this that doesn't really have many other facial exp uh, expressions. So what we want to do, uh, basically the process will be, we go right through the whole sequence and we animate the mouth. We then come back to the beginning of the sequence and we animate things like the, the, the eyes moving around and the eyebrows and the ears and so on. And then when we've done the entire sequence, adding all of that movement in, we come back to the beginning of the sequence again, and we go all the way through and we animate the head moving around to match with the audio and the rest of the, the performance going on. Okay, so uh, let's begin. What we need to do, first of all, is find the beginning of the first word in the audio. And it's going to be about, for me, I can hear the, the S sound for the word six, okay? So the first word is six. Six men came to kill. Okay. So you can play through that audio a couple of times until you find roughly where the first word is. Okay, so my first word goes from about 16 to approximately 24. So I've got six men. All right. And you can see here that the, if you have a look at the waveform, this green fuzzy line, you can almost see where the different sounds in the word are. So I've got an S here, and then an, the I is sort of in here, where the waveform changes shape a bit. And then I've got a very, very sharp um, 
sound for the letter X in six. Okay, and I can kind of see the waveform changing shape there and becoming a little bit more spiky. It's peaking just here. And then it trails off uh, into the word men just here. So I know that my animation's got to start around about 16. Okay. So what that means is I have to get the, sh the mouth shape for the letter S, which is the beginning of the word, basically in position roughly on frame 16 or 17. Now normally what you would want to do is try and get the shape into position, maybe a frame before you hear the audio. Um, there's this kind of odd phenomenon that occurs where if you put the movement for the mouth directly at the exact same time as you hear the word, it actually looks like the mouth is moving a little bit slower than you're hearing the sounds. So what you want to do is try and keep maybe a frame or two ahead with the movement to the audio. Okay, so even though the sound is sort of maybe coming in more predominantly on frame 17, I'm going to start this on 16. Okay, so what I want to do basically is have the, um, the shape for the mouth uh, take on the visine for the letter S on frame 16. So what that means is I'm going to want to have on frame 15 a keyframe for the mouth to keep it in this shape before he starts speaking. I don't want his mouth moving and nothing coming out of it um, before he actually starts speaking, you see. So I need to keyframe it just here in this position before his, move, his mouth moves and he starts to speak. So uh, what I'm going to do is come down my uh, blend shape list and I'm going to have a look for the visemes that I'll be using for the letter S. So let's take a quick look here. Um, now, with my visemes that I have available, um, I don't have the letter S, um, <clears throat> which means I've got to try and create the same shape using a combination of the, the expressions that I do have. Okay, so for example, um, for the letter S, usually you can see the person's front teeth, and that would be similar to the F, where we can see the teeth. But also, the, the corners of the mouth tend to pull back like a, like a grin or a smile, and the mouth tends to open a bit more, uh, So or the lips do. So that could also be like an A sound. So this shape here would be similar to someone um, saying that uh, sort of S shape, like six. So this would be roughly the position I would probably have for the first, uh, uh, the first sound for the first word. So I need to keep that in mind. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, before I change those, what I want to do is set a key for them. So because I'm going to change uh, from this shape into the blended shape of these two uh, um, visemes, I'm going to key them both. So I'm going to go key and key. And you can see down here it doesn't actually uh, show keyframes, okay, but these two numbers go red. So then on the first sound of the first word, I'm then going to increase the values until I get the shape that I want. So I'm going to go S. So this is going to be sort of the S shape for the first word. So I can kind of tweak it. So it's going to be something like that. So that's sort of like the, the letter S. And I keyframe that into position. So any of the sliders that I move, I have to keyframe both of them by pressing the key buttons. So what that's doing is on frame 15, he's in this position, and then on frame 16, he goes like this. Okay, six. So what I need to do now is listen for how long the, um, the S sound lasts. 
Okay, so the S sound's going through to about 19. Okay, and then it changes into the I sound. All right. So I've got roughly through to 19, so I want to keep that shape there till about 19, um, or maybe even 18. Okay, and what I do is keyframe them there. Okay, now from this point, he's going to start saying I as in six, the I in six. And that's going to be pretty quick. It's probably only going to be over maybe frame 20 and 21. And then on 22, he's going to start pronouncing the X sound in six. So uh, what we want to do here is go from the S shape to an I shape. Okay, now what that means is he's going to actually open his mouth more. And that could be the um, the A E U visine, which opens the mouth. But what I would do here is probably back off the F and V, like that. So he'd probably end up sort of something along those lines. Okay, and maybe not so much of that A mouth. Okay, so you've got to kind of tweak it. So it'd probably be around about there, I'd say. Something like that. All right. So on frame 19, I'm going to keyframe both of those. And then on frame 20, I'm going to dial this one down and I'm going to increase this one like that and keyframe both of them like that. <laughs> Now in this situation, this one didn't take. You can see there, in between, uh, say, 19 and 20, this one here is not moving, and it should be. So I'm going to keyframe that there again. I'll just click on that, and then dial up to here, and just dial that up, and keyframe it again. Okay, so that's going to stay there probably to about 21, so I'll keyframe that again. Okay, and you can dial that one right off there and just key that. And then what he needs to do is actually kind of close his mouth again, but still have uh, his teeth showing. Okay, and that's going to kind of be on probably frame 22. And then it's going to drop off and his mouth will close by about frame 24. So what we'll do is uh, on frame 22, I need to get the, uh, the mouth closed a little bit more. Okay, so just here, just here on 22, uh, what we're going to do is kind of get the mouth back down to about there. We'll keyframe that. It's going to hold on frame 23. And that's sort of that kind of k sound in six. We'll keyframe that there as well, just so that it holds. And then on frame 24, we want to go down. The next word is starting roughly on frame 24, and that's the word men. So that's going to be an M shape. So what we're going to do is on frame 23, we need to dial, uh, or sorry, we need to keyframe the M visine. And then on frame 24, we dial the AE Y, Z all the way down and key it, and we dial the M and B Y, Z up for the beginning of the word men, and we key that. So we're going to go 
So we've got the letter S, the letter I, and then the letter X, and then the letter M. Now it goes really quickly. When you play it back, it'll be very, very fast. So let's just rewind this. Six men came to kill. You can see there we, we're getting a little bit of um we're getting a little bit of that uh, movement starting to happen there. And it's a little bit haphazard, and you've got to kind of play around with the visemes and work out which ones are best for the shape that you want to create. Six men came to kill. Okay, so we're starting to get that. We've got the word six in there. Six men came to kill. And now, now what we need to do is get the word men in there as well. Um, that's the basic process. Um, I'll continue on in the next video and we'll do a little bit more. But it's really uh, what you'll need to do is work out which of the visemes are best to use for your audio. Um, because obviously it's not going to be the same as this. But you can see the basic process. Um, what you need to do is dial the sliders back and forth to get the shapes you want on the keyframes that you want.